Hi everyone, welcome to the 2018 PSLE Math Challenge. In this video, we are going to look at one of the challenging math questions that appeared in the 2018 PSLE Math Exam in Singapore. In case you are revising for PSLE and need a reference, this primary 6 math question is adapted from the 2018 PSLE Math Exam Paper 2, Question 17. Alright, now it's time to see what this question is all about. In this question, we have a boy Roy okay, who wanted to get some pens and pencils. He goes to a stationery shop, but the strange thing is, this shop only sells pens and pencils in boxes, okay? So they don't sell the pens and pencils piece by piece. We are given that one box of 7 pencils costs $2.50, and one box of 5 pens costs $3.20. The question then tells us that Roy wants to buy 19 pencils and 3 pens, and we are supposed to find the least amount of money that Roy needs to spend on the pens and pencils. Do you know how to solve this? In order to help us solve this math problem sum, let's use this method called the grouping method. Okay, so the key idea here is to think of each kind of item separately and find out how many groups of each item we will need to buy. Let's take a look at the pens first. Okay, so this should be fairly easy. We know that Roy needs to buy three pens. Okay, and the pens are sold in boxes of five. So if we wanted to save money, how many boxes of pens should we buy? Yep. All we need to do is just to buy one box and that will be enough, okay? No need to be too greedy over here. Next, let's look at the pencils. Roy needs 19 pencils, but the pencils are sold in boxes of 7. So in order to find how many boxes of 7 pencils to buy, let's divide 19 by 7. This gives us a value of 2 with a remainder of 5. So the question is then, should Roy buy 2 boxes of pencils or 3 boxes of pencils? You'll notice that if Roy buys 2 boxes, he will only have 14 pencils, correct? Because 2 times 7 gives us 14, so 2 boxes is definitely not enough. He'll need to buy at least one more box to make up for the other 5 pencils. So the best number of boxes of pencils to buy here will be 3 boxes. So far so good. Now that we know the number of boxes of pencils and pens to buy, let's see how much they cost, okay? So how much do 3 boxes of pencils cost? One box of pencil costs $2.50. So to find the cost of 3 boxes, let's multiply that by 3. And this will give us a value of $7.50. Now once we are done, don't forget to add the price of the pens too. Okay? Since we know that one box of pen costs $3.20, adding that to $7.50 will give us our final answer of $10.70. So now we know that the least amount of money that Roy needs to pay would be $10.70. Now, in the second part of this question, Roy is no longer the main character, okay? Finn becomes the new boy that we are going to look at. So the first part of the question remains the same, but now we are going to concentrate on Finn. So what do we know about him? We know that Finn bought 21 more pens than pencils from the shop. In other words, let's say that Finn bought X number of pencils. The number of pens that he bought must be X plus 21, okay? And on top of that, the total number of pens and pencils that he bought was fewer than 50. This time round, we are asked to find the amount of money that Finn spent on the pens and pencils. So in order to do that, we'll first need to know how many boxes of pens and pencils he bought. So let's make use of the two clues that we have earlier on to, to find those numbers. Let's use the guess and check method to solve this question. Okay, so we'll start by drawing a guess and check table. And before we start doing that, let's think about the relationships that we have from the question. So first of all, we know that Finn bought 21 more pens than pencils. So let's draw two columns, alright? One to represent the number of pencils, and another to represent the number of pens. Now, don't forget that we can only buy pens and pencils in boxes. So let's have another two columns for that. What's the relationship between the number of pencils and the number of boxes of pencils? Well, since one box of pencils has seven pencils in it, we can always find the number of pencils by taking the number of boxes times 7, okay? And the same is true for the pens as well. Except that instead of 7, we'll multiply the number of boxes of pens by 5 instead because they come in boxes of 5, okay? Remember that we are given in the question that the total number of pens and pencils that Finn bought was actually fewer than 50? In other words, whatever our guesses are, they must be able to satisfy this condition to be the right answer, okay? And that's why we'll add another column 
for the total number of pens and pencils and also another column to check if our guess is right. Now that we have all the columns labelled, we can finally start with our first guess. Okay, what number should we choose first? Let's start by guessing that Finn bought one box of pencils. Okay, just to get the rough feel of this. So if Finn bought one box of pencils, the number of pencils that he will have will be 1 times 7, which gives us 7 pencils. Correct? And since he bought 21 more pens than pencils, the number of pens that Finn bought must be 7 plus 21, which is 28. Now, how many boxes of pens will that be? Let's take 28 divided by 5. Hmm, when we take 28 divided by 5, it seems like there's a remainder, correct? Can this happen? No, right? Remember that we can only buy the pens in boxes. Therefore, we know that our first guess must be wrong. So no point filling in the blank for the total number of pens and pencils. Now let's move on to the next guess. This time round, let's make Finn buy two boxes of pencils. If he bought two boxes of pencils, he would have 2 times 7, 14 pencils. Correct? Then what about the number of pens? We will take 14 plus 21 and this will give us 35 pens. If we were to have 35 pens, how many boxes will that be? Looks like 35 divided by 5 gives us 7. Okay, so we have 7 boxes of pen. And this might actually be what we are looking for. But we will still need to do a final check. Okay, so what's the total number of pens and pencils that Finn bought in this case? Finn bought 14 pencils and 35 pens. So the total number of pens and pencils that he bought must be 49. Back to the question, is this total number fewer than 50? Yes, it is. So since our guess satisfies the condition in the question, Finn must have bought 2 boxes of pencils and 7 boxes of pens. So going back to our question, in order to solve it, you need to find the cost of the pencils and the cost of the pens and then add them up together. Correct? So let's look at the cost of the pencils first. We know that 1 box of pencils will cost $2.50, so 2 boxes will cost 2 times $2.50, okay, which is $5.00. And then to find the cost of the pens, let's take 7 times $3.20. This gives us a value of $22.40. Finally, when we add these two amount, we would have our final answer of $27.40. PSLE math problem solved. Yay! <coughs> Thank you for watching this practical math video. Before we go, don't forget to try out more questions in practical and keep your math skills shiny. See you soon!